Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm gonna do a little update. Uh, let's see, this is gonna be video number four, five, four, four or five, I can't remember. But I'll do a little update video. This is the end of week three. Um, being on this job, it's kind of like uh, stuff everywhere, but we didn't reach some milestones this week, which is exciting. Um, so I just went around and cleaned up the street and kind of putting things tucked away for the weekend here. So got a lot of our equipment out of here. We had to move our job trailer for the client. Um, still got a bunch of material staged and uh, I'll walk up here and show you uh, progress today. What we got, what we've gotten done, not progress today, progress this week, I would, I guess. So we haven't really done anything with this wall. Uh, we were concentrating most on the excavation and the completing of the demo work th this week. So, as you can see, we got this concrete out. All the concrete around the pool is out. All the excavation is done. Uh, we got some utility stuff that needs to be repaired. Uh, there was lots of unmarked lines that we couldn't see, and there's really nothing we could could do about that. Um... We got four inches of snow last night, which was kind of a bummer. Made everything a little bit muddy, but yeah, we got all the excavation done everywhere and all the concrete out. There's like 15 dumpsters, 15 10 yarders, if I remember correctly. Uh, a lot of exposed pool lines. This is the, the amount of space we're going to gain around this pool now is really going to be something. So. You can really start to see it take shape now. Um, we had a few things that we broke. We had some utility issues here. Uh, there was a big concrete footing right here for the pergola that used to be here. And uh, those pipes were embedded in the concrete and we had to cut them out of it. And we, in the process, broke them. Uh, but we're getting those things buttoned up and fixed. Uh, we left the pool kind of fall in there just to be a little protectant uh, And when we when we need to take it out the clients getting a new one So when we take it out, I'm gonna try and take it out in a way that uh, keeps the junk inside of it And uh, we'll lift that out of there with the excavator. It's no big deal So yeah, um, a lot of concrete man a lot of junk a lot of sprinkler lines All of this is coming out, which is great. You don't have to worry about saving anything um, We have a big old pile of sand that we excavated from here. Uh, and next week, or on the next video, uh, well, maybe in this video, I don't know. Um, next week we'll be uh, hopefully getting some stone base in here. Uh, there's a lot of other work that has to be done, so there's not a huge rush in here, uh, but we can start working on some of our border walls around, or some of our seat walls and garden walls and those kinds of things. So uh, we can start working on this retaining wall if we want. Uh, but we may spend a lot of time in the pond next week uh, And I'll walk you over there now Kind of show you where we're at on that We had some fun with that this week um, fighting the water table and uh, Oh man, it's cold here What is it like it's supposed to be 10 degrees tonight or something? Another dumpster that's almost full we could fit a little bit more in there, but let me walk you down here by the pond. Still got all our stone here, as you can see. Uh, I don't remember what was on the last video, but we had started putting some stone and fabric in the pond base, wall base, but the elevation was off and the sand, we were fighting this, the, like I said, we were fighting the water level, uh, the water table level. And so we ended up getting a big six inch water pump out here lowering the level of the pond and that allowed us to cut our base all the way to the pond at the proper elevation and allow all the water to drain to the pond and now we are a lot now we can get a dry trench that allows us to actually get some work done and not fight the water so that's a huge blessing so now the pond is way down a huge difference to that big pump so that pump will run 24 hours a day seven days a week until we get our base in and uh, as you can see now there's water running in here 
and uh, towards the end of the week, uh, what was it, yesterday and the day before, we were able to get a bunch of stone base in, foot of stone in, and then this morning uh, it had all filled up with water again. And so, uh, because it was only cut to here, it wasn't excavated all the way to the pond. So this morning I excavated it all the way to the pond, and now all this water can run out how it needs to be. So now, Monday we'll get fabric in here, we'll get our stone in here, and we'll be working above the water and it'll make everything a lot easier. So uh, as we build this, you'll see more of how we're doing things, but this fabric will eventually go all the way. It will, uh, it will go between the stone and the sand and then the wall and the stone. So the stone will be encapsulated in fabric. Uh, and I would typically not put the fabric between the stone and the, and the sand, but because it's sand, I need to filter that and kind of have a barrier on that. So that's what I decided to do. And uh, that's gonna work out good, so. Uh, some of the rock they brought for this wall is so big and this trench has gotten so wide because the sand kept falling in that now I can't reach some of these big pieces all the way out there uh, due to the weight. And so next week I have the excavator that is digging this pond coming back. He's gonna haul out this big pile of sand here that we have and another big pile over here. And he's gonna dig some other things for us. And then at the same time, he's gonna set some of these big boy rocks, which are probably 4,000 pounds, 5,000 pounds, and I can't lift them with my excavator, uh, especially out that far. Um, once we get two, two layers, uh, I'll be able to cut this, get this sand backfilled right to the wall, and then I'll be able to get right next to the wall and I won't have to worry, it won't be a problem anymore. But this, uh, this base is about twice as wide as it needed to be, uh, but it just kept falling in. There's, it's just working with sand and I'm learning a lot and uh, doing things I've never done before as far as working in the sand like this and the water table and it's just kind of a struggle but we're getting through it and I feel like we're making good progress finally and uh, this is a huge relief to have this water low enough to where this can constantly drain in here um, so yeah it's, uh, we're getting there so that's a little update for you end of week three on this job and uh, I'm gonna get in the excavator here, do a little bit more uh, excavating before I leave for the day. And uh, that's better. Get this thing warmed up. And uh, maybe I'll finish this video out with me doing some excavating. Uh, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to like, smash that subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you in the next one, guys. Thanks.